Hello, Steve Love back here with Prosperity Through Real Estate and Ria Las Vegas. So thanks for tuning in today. And we're going to continue our series of interviews with my old buddy, Mr. Ted Thomas. I don't mean to say you're old, but I've- I'm <laughs> old, I'm I've old out of my, it doesn't I've matter to me. For, for over 30 years. I mean, you were just a yeah, kid. Right. <laughs> yeah. when I took my first yeah. class for you back then. But anyway, after re-watching and listening to some of the videos that we've already done, um, I have a few questions and we've actually had a few e emails come up from uh, some of our members. So the first one is, is it possible to get started with just a very small amount of money, say a few thousand dollars? Yes, if they want to buy tax lien certificates, okay? So here's what this business is. The, the, the tax collector needs to collect money. So in California, average house is going to be three hundred, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000. So there's a lot of tax owed on that house. You're probably not going to get started on a big house like that. However, there's residential land. Okay, now residential land, especially in neighborhoods where the houses are 100, 200,000, some of that residential land will be sold. It might be worth $80,000, but it might be sold for five or $10,000. So you could start small with residential land. Now, I'm a big advocate of that kind of land, by the way. I like that because there's no risk in it. By that, I mean, it's got a high value, but it sells for low prices because everybody wants a house. You see that? The challenge is everybody is conceived in a house. They grow up in the house. They live in a the house. They go to the auction. What do you think they bid on? A house. So nobody looks at those residential lots. I buy residential lots, Seattle, Los Angeles, San Diego, Phoenix, all over the East. Why? Because the bidding is low and it's not competitive. There's still the value. You're trying to buy value. So if I get a $100,000 lot, that I can get for five or $10,000, that's great. Now, if you're way down in terms of money, you don't have 10,000. Number one, what I'm gonna tell you to do is learn how to do this, put a bunch of people together, don't give them all your profit, give them 20 cents or uh, give them a 20% return or something, but don't give them all your money and start doing it that way. Uh, or buy tax lien certificates. Now you can get tax lien certificates, $500, $2,000, $5,000, you can get those all day long. Now, if you buy a tax lien certificate for 50 bucks and you earn 20%, you know, where are you? So you don't want to start that small. I tell people, if you don't have the money, put a little group of people together. Don't give them too much money. We actually have classes. We teach them how to do that. Got it. Okay, thank yeah. you. Um, and that was from Mr. Baker. Um, Bill asks, says, Ted, I really understand these tax lien certificates and it really seems like anyone can do it. Is there any complications that I need to know about? Yeah, the complication you need to know about is you need to read the rules for every auction. The reason you need to read the rules is if you went in San Bernardino to the auction, they're going to have one set of rules. And the treasurer there has power over that county. But if you then decided you're going to go up to San Mateo County next to San Francisco, I can assure you there'll be a different rule. And then if you decide you're going to go over to... Uh, Placerville on the way to Lake Tahoe, then they're going to be in El Dorado County. It's going to be a different set of rules. So this, it's not so complicated as is that the treasurer makes the rules for their county. They all do the same kind of thing, but they have their own special rules. So you just have to follow, follow the rule. If you don't follow the rules, they'll just stop you until you leave. Actually, they, they have a sheriff at the auction. The sheriff will take you out. <laughs> okay, yeah. cool. Thank you. Um, yeah. Deborah asks, she says, Ted, I'm an investor, and I think most of my clients want to be investors too, but they are probably going to want to do little deals. Is it possible they could make big, bigger chunks of money, 25000 50000 or more, and do this all online? Okay, you can do the whole thing online. I'll actually show an example in this uh, lesson before I finish of one, Van one Vancouver, Canada investor buying in Los Angeles, purchased residential lots. He purchased $1 million worth of residential lots and he paid 8.5 cents on the dollar and there was no mortgage. My name is Rene Goche from Surrey, BC. 
In October, I went to Los Angeles County tax deed sale. Bought five properties for roughly $85,000. They are vacant lots. One is in Malibu, four in downtown LA. Gorgeous properties. Their value, tax assessed value, is just over $1 million. I did this after taking Ted's course in under 90 days. Thanks, Ted. Wow, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, Shannon next. Ted, the investment business is really filled with a lot of hype. But I have clients, she has clients, that are grandmothers and grandfathers and working people, and they would love to make big chunks, like 50000 a year or more. Is that realistic in this business? Oh, that's definitely realistic. This is a business that's uh, set up for investors. I mean, if you went to the Los Angeles auction, there's going to be properties that have values of $2 million that will be sold for a $1 million. There's going to be properties that are uh, $400,000 properties that will sell for, for $200,000. There will also be people like, I have clients that live in, in um, um, Costa Rica, buying online in Los Angeles and getting properties at seven cents on the dollar. So the spread is what you're after. And there's plenty there. Now, are you going to go to your first auction and make a couple of hundred thousand? Maybe, but I mean, I would start a little smaller than that. I might start in a smaller County. You just try to make yourself 25,000. So you'll learn the ropes, then go to the next one. We don't do anything. We tell people walk away from the property. If you're not going to make at least 25,000. So we don't do any. We're not in. We're not interested in five and ten thousand dollars. We don't even look at that stuff. We just okay. go right past it. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad you're talking about those because our next question comes from Mr. Schumacher. He says, "Ted, show me the best deal you've ever seen." <laughs> oh well, I can tell you this guy. Uh, this is amazing. This is amazing. He bought a property just outside of Phoenix. I'm going to show it on the video so you'll know that it's real. All right. We show the picture of the property. He bought the property for $67. He paid the tax. And the property owner, it was 25 acres. You've got $67, all you got in it. The people didn't pay the tax. He ended up with 25 acres for $67. He sold it for $22,000. I'd have to say that the best uh, dollar for dollar deal I've ever done on a piece of land it happened in Oklahoma. I went out to an outlying county and I bought a tax lien. The tax lien was on a 25 acre piece of land. The tax lien was only $67.12. Uh, you'd think that nobody would ever abandon a piece of land for that small of a tax bill, but things like that do happen. And guess what? Those people never did pay that tax. They never redeemed that tax lien. And I ended up getting the tax deed to that property. I eventually sold that piece of land for $22,500. It's not uncommon to make ten or twenty thousand dollars off of a deal. Wow, <laughs> unbelievable! It's the world of the weird. Let me tell you, it's the world that's, of the weird. That's great. I wish you yeah. had taught me this thirty years ago when I first took that first class from you uh, back then. It was a foreclosure class. But you the, know, the problem was people don't believe what I'm saying. Yeah, until it's unbelievable. That's exactly what happens. They don't believe it, and if I. I would never tell any lay person on the street what I do. And I tell my clients, don't tell your friends, not because they're not, because of any other reason that they won't believe you. They're going to start looking at their head and go, are you crazy? That's unbelievable. Yeah, they, they don't believe it. This has been, everything I'm telling you today is in the statutes, which is the state rules. And everything I'm saying is 200 years old. This has been going on for 200 years. Right. I mean, there's deals like this in every state of the, we could sit and talk about Tennessee and talk about the same time. We could sit and talk about North Dakota. We could, we could do Michigan. I mean, Michigan has got so many deals. Michigan will have, they will have between 60 and a hundred, 60 and a and hundred auctions between now and the end of the year. It's unbelievable. Wow. It's, yeah. It sounds like an amazing business and I can't wait to learn more about it. Guys, I don't care what you're doing. There will not be any replays of that class. 
you need to be there live. It might, you know, for me, I wouldn't miss it for anything. And I'm not going to, I'll cancel my fishing trip. If you're going to get married that day, cancel your wedding. If you're going to die that day, <laughs> cancel your funeral. You know, but but be there. On Show the up. Yeah. Show up. You just don't yeah. get the chance to be with a guy like like Ted Thomas. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank so, you. So, with that, I'm just I you know I want to thank you for this series of interviews we've done with you, and and I can't wait to see you coming up soon, Ted. Okay, I'm going to talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. I appreciate everything. I can't teach you everything I know in a day, but I'm going to give you a ton. You'll be absolutely. You'll be. Your head will just go like that. It'll just spill out. There'll be so much. That's right. We'll see you then, Ted. Thank you. Okay. So, so long. Bye -bye. Good to see you.